Hey, hey, boys and girls! Welcome to Central Kids Storytime Online. We have another exciting story for you this week. Are you ready? Hey, Central Kids! We're going on a journey through the five solas Sola Scriptura, Sola Fide, Sola Gratia, Solus Christus, and Soli Deo Gloria. Get your Bibles ready, get your thinking caps on, and let's learn more about how we can grow in our relationship with Jesus. Hello boys and girls, my name is Katarina. I was named after the wife of the famous reformer Martin Luther. Join me on a journey over the next five weeks as we dig a little deeper into the five solas. But what are these five solas and where do they come from? Well, long ago in the 1500s, there was a German monk named Martin Luther who didn't agree with the false teachings of the church in his day. And in October of the year 1517, he nailed his 95 theses to a church door in Wittenberg. During this time, the church was teaching untruthful things, like the people needing to pay for their sins to be forgiven. Martin Luther and the others began reading the scripture for themselves and saw that the church was teaching the wrong things, especially about salvation. This began the period of time in church history known as the Protestant Reformation. And this is when the five solas began. Sola is a Latin word meaning only or alone. And the five solas were originally written in Latin. Sola Scriptura, Sola Fide, Sola Gratia, Solus Christus and Soli Deo Gloria. Today we will look at Sola Scriptura, which means scripture alone. Around the time of the Reformation, the church taught the people that the words of the Pope, the church, the king and other important people had the same authority as the Bible, God's word. They believed that scripture plus tradition means authority. The reformers pushed back against this and said, No, wait! It's not scripture plus anything! It is scripture alone. The Bible says all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction and for training in righteousness. 1 Timothy 3 verse 16 So the question is, do we really believe that God's word is not just the highest authority, but the only authority? I got a task for you all this week. Every day this week, sit with your mum and dad, or if you can read on your own, read it, and choose a book of the Bible to read through together. Read one chapter every day. Ask yourself or discuss with your family, what is God saying through his word? Thank you for joining us at Central Kids Storytime Online. See you next week. Bye-bye.